Hello, welcome back to a... See how it slowly goes down? <laughs> that is because my chair is broken. You want to tell them how, what happened? Yeah, you can go to the private account for that. <laughs> <laughs> Basically is what happened. Um, I was in here recording some music. Seb came in and sat on top of me in this chair and broke it. Because he's so thickums. With How you doing, ass. rude bestie? Such a rude way to start this. <gasps> okay, so it's season two, starting off strong, people. Everybody relax. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are starting season two with a bang, and the bang is we're working through the kinks because um, we're starting season two with a bang, a new angle, oh, a new bangle. We love to see it. Yeah, well, we're thinking. Uh, I'm. Am I good? Because my chair sunk. Yeah, you're good. Okay. We're thinking this might be a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I, I like when it's just our face filling the whole screen. But I feel like this, you get more seeing our interaction. And it's easier for me to set up since we only have the one mic. True. It's easier for me to edit. Easier for us to edit. And with the pod, we just want it to be like very like natural. So yeah. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. I think this is cute. Uh, you can see our little thing a little bit more now we'll so this is like cuter. yeah we're gonna make it cuter it's gonna be like an area to record vocals because for rough vocals i'll like literally record them here because we have like this giant thing in the way in the studio y'all um and what we want to do is kind of make this cuter so that when you go to do your singing it's very zen very yeah no one can because because right now it still feels like people can hear you i want it to feel like nobody outside of this room can hear you oh okay very well, we need more of those. Then I won't have to drive you mad with my vocal warm-ups. <laughs> I, I went in the corner here and started and saying them into it once. But I feel like no matter what I do, you always hear me. Oh, uh, no. No? Like, if I'm if I'm up here like doing vocal warm-ups and you're in, in, like, the TV room, can you hear me a lot? No. Okay, that's good. Like, I can't hear you at all. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Unless you're, like, screaming. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, like, because I'm now trying vocal control more, I try not to scream as much. We that. Because uh, I feel bad, like, y'all, Seb has to hear me do these vocal warms every day, which is, like, in my head, number one reason why he would leave me in five years. So I need no, to, like, find plenty, ways with. <laughs> I need there's plenty of reasons there. There's plenty of reasons. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm kidding. Can you, like, lower your chair a bit? Because it feels. <laughs> You have issues if we, with authority, yeah. and we knew that. I, I don't like being shorter than Let's you. talk about your issues with authority. Like, Seb can't tell me... Actually, I've been getting better at it because he knows some really good exercises lately, but usually when you tell me yeah. what to do at the gym, usually I get we're at very the gym, pissed. And Dion's like doing something like Not this. Pissed, I'd be like, but... oh, just arrange your arm a little. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I just... Or like teachers, when we were in school, you would get so mad at teachers telling yeah, you what to do. I don't like that. Which I... Well, that's that stems from, like, in high school. I was bullied, but I was also low-key bullied by a few teachers. Like, oh, there was this the one... worst. When teachers are not mature. Yeah. Like, there was one teacher who made fun of me in front of the whole class multiple times. He would call me pretty boy, but he would, like... It that's made so me so rude. uncomfortable. Yeah. I had a teacher once. Well, like, I had one that needs to be fired. Because she was in front of the whole class, and she's like... Yeah, I think bisexualism doesn't exist. When you told me this shit, she goes, I "Yeah, went off. girls who say they're bisexual, they're either they're just lying for attention, and guys that say that they're bisexual, they're just not wanting to admit that they're gay." And I'm like, "And Seb told me this. I had just came out as bisexual, so I wasn't that secure in like talking back to a teacher about it. But everyone was just like, because they knew that I had came come out, and they're like looking at me, and I'm like, I know this bitch." I was rattled. Seb yeah. came home from school. He told me. I freaked out. You guys don't even want to know. I walked into that office. I said to the principal, where's Mary Johnson? We weren't dating. And they said who? And I said, <laughs> Miss Mary Johnson. We weren't dating I went up to her then. and I said, you have just as much audacity as Johnson and Jocks Johnson giving out a vaccine <laughs> that worked <laughs> shitty compared to the rest of them. Uh, no, but if I was there, I, that's what I would have Thank done. Thank you. Yeah. Happy February. Happy February. <gasps> the month of love. I know. Or the month of people saying they hate Valentine's Day, people saying they like it. How do you feel? I feel like I love Valentine's I've always loved Valentine's Day. It's always been like my vibe, you know, mm. even when I was single. But now I'm not. 
<laughs> no, but I feel That's like... That's me writing songs, to, and I'm like, mm, I should write, like, a, a breakup song. And I'm like, <laughs> but I'm in a happy relationship. <laughs> so that doesn't work. But I feel like it's fair. Like, if you don't like Valentine's Day, that's fine. But remember that it's also, like, self-love day. Mm. And, like, friends I think that's what it's love about. day. Like, it's not just, like, a love between a couple. It's a love... I, yeah, that, that's how it's been marketed. For life. Yeah. But we should market it how you're saying. Yeah, it's just a love for life. Love for where you are at right now. Love for yourself. Love for your I body. I like that a lot. I think my biggest thing that I'm finally coming to terms with is, like, I got to a point where I would just be, like, so in my head that I couldn't enjoy the moment. Yeah. I'd be thinking, like, oh, I'm not doing enough. Like, for... Instead of thinking about the moment, I was so focused on, like, this idea of, like... Yeah, and, like, the idea of, like, a result. But that's, like, not attainable. It's about every day. So to take Valentine's Day as a day to, like, be like, I'm gonna, like, not stress about the future, the past, the present. I'm just gonna be so in love with everything today. Yeah. And just, that'll, like, echo throughout... The next, the rest of the year. Well, I yeah, can't believe it, I, honestly. I figured out that I'm an easy shopper. An easy... Target for the ads. Because like, of Target. I bought we love so Target much trip. shit over the years. Yeah. I'm like, with you on all that. all the Kylie lip kits. 2023 is the year of realizing, like, how what you don't need to Let's spend Let's talk about on. the Kylie lip kits that you never stopped me from buying. You were obsessed with the Kylie Lipkins. Yeah, but and I was Georgia just... was as well because I did a video where I bought her a shit ton of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spent like nine hundred dollars. Two hundred and twenty-five. I remember the price. Why do I think it was eight ninety? Because you like to hyperbolize sometimes. No, I'm good with numbers. <laughs> Not when it like one time I was like maybe it's three ninety because three looks like yeah. an eight. I was like, well, yeah, we should come to Universal Studios and get the vegan burgers. <laughs> no, Seb, because if we get the burgers, it'll be $20 plus the combo times two <laughs> plus the soda. That's $100. And I'm like... Disney is overpriced. Not that much, honey. And that was Universal That Studios. was pre... You're like, that was pre-inflation. That was pre-inflation. Yeah, that was like six years ago. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So like one kit would have been cute. Right. I bought so many. I was just going through them because they weren't bad because I never used them because they made my lips look like a dried up Literally, butthole. they were so bad. A dried but I was always looking at you like, what is going on with the lips? Like the... And I remember trying it and like that's when I was getting into makeup and I was like, this shit is dry. Yeah. Like I like my makeup pretty moist usually. Like, it did... <laughs> and that shit, <laughs> that shit is dry. <laughs> like, But everyone and people was can't... wearing them. And No, the worst thing was you were all reapplying it. And it would be peeling during the day, like a fucking balloon latex on your oh, face. Oh, no. Ugh. Kylie Cosmetics. <laughs> no. That, that shit is a no. But it was funny how I got a video where I told Georgia that I got it for her, and then it was empty, and she started crying. <laughs> right? And then I gave it to her, and then she was all happy. Is that what happened? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. I think that's I what don't happened. want your videos. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's been a long while. But no, I know I got her one. And but, I yeah, I remember her. the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, she was like... <laughs> But, yeah, but at least, I feel like, because I remember, I remember, I remember when I first bought the first lip kit, you were like, you bought a lip kit, and I'm like, yeah. I lip and kitted you're it. Like, and you're like. I was very judgy. Oh, you're like, that's like lipstick. And I'm like, yeah, how is it different than other makeup? And then that was the open the gates to all of our makeup. I didn't do makeup before that? No, you were just doing natural. I would do makeup, but yeah, just na natural. So you were like, that's not natural. And I was like... <laughs> and then so in a, so in a way, I was the catalyst for your makeup journey. For my makeup artistry. I know, I can't wait. Now that we're back, back home, and am going to do so many more makeup looks. Hopefully we can make something better than dried buttholes from Kylie Lip Kit. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we can. That's, that's gonna be the name of today's If you guys podcast, do want to see Kylie any certain Jenner videos, like makeup videos on YouTube, dry butthole. pranks are that <laughs> so rude. Let us know what you want to see and where, because uh, so many things are gonna happen this year. It's gonna be a great year. But yeah, so I realized after that that I shouldn't. I was going through the expired ones, and I was like, "Wow, I bought all the shit." So now I'm smarter with my money. And now you don't wear lipstick unless I apply it and show you how to do it. No, honey. No, I like to wear lipstick. <laughs> But, like, I don't know, because my lips are naturally red, so I don't wear lipstick all the time. Yeah, you don't now. need it. Like, your lips are very, what's the word, pigmented. Yeah, like, one time I was getting, I don't know what I was getting, my eyebrows or something, and the girl was like, 
oh, did you get the lip uh, color injections? And I'm like, the what, what? And then she's like, yeah, they insert, they inject pigment into your lips. So they're always red. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, I no, mean, I that's so unnecessary. Like, you can take the tiniest bit of the right product and boop, and your lips have color. Yeah. Like, it is so easy. People act like... But I don't have to. Because if you take that lipstick and you're just like, mm, you've already fucked up. Like, you're putting on too much. Yeah. Unless that's the look, I guess. Let's Which is only going to work with other, lots of looks. Other too much makeup trials and errors. Remember when you would do your nose? <laughs> um, there's a lot of trials when and errors we could discuss like here on this day. Crack, crack, <laughs> crack. And I'll be like, oh, hon, I think you forgot to blend. And you're like, that's the look. I'm like, that's contour, Seb. I was like... Listen. That's the look. <laughs> the witch look. <laughs> when every era of makeup came in online of like people doing contour or whatever, and I started doing it, it was always rough for everyone at first. Yeah, I feel like we... But now you look at us all online and, wow, are we all you fucking can go great at makeup, all of our bitch? Past videos and see, oh, that was the hyperpigmented era. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was the, the eyebrow era. The pompadour. Oh, that was the. Uh, how are you feeling about the wedding planning? Um feeling like I think we have things we need to discuss. I don't know what you want me to not say. I feel like, well, we're going to start doing more TikToks about it and everything. Yeah. Um, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. But I know you were freaking out a little over people traveling to the wedding. Yeah. Like I have been getting some <laughs> wedding anxieties. I feel like that's normal. Because I feel like every time that anyone's having a wedding, they're always like, even if it's like local, they're like, what if nobody comes? I'm not nervous about any of that. Like, I think the only th- reason you should be having a wedding is to celebrate like the love. love. And so whenever you feel stressed about anything, just like remember that. Yeah. So that's fine. Like, I don't get like anxious about what anyone's doing socially. Like, come have a good time, you know? Celebrate. But I do get anxious about like, because... People that I'm um, from my side are like traveling. That makes me nervous because I feel like I have to think of all the details of how they're going to get there. Yeah. What's going to happen. And that stresses me out. Like, I feel that. But at the same time, it's like people know how to travel. Mm-hmm. They'll be able to buy a ticket. What, Book a ticket. What upsets Get on the plane. <laughs> what upsets me is inflation. I wish it was lower. So people would be better. Like Inclined. Have, yeah. Mm. But that really is out of our hands. <laughs> it is. And like, honestly, it's not like it's going to be something you want to miss. Yeah, it won't <laughs> be an event you want to miss. Honestly. Let's just say you would, you're going to want to spend that money on the ticket. You, I'm kidding. You're probably going to want to. <laughs> um, That's why I'm also like, it's a Sebastian wedding. Like, we're doing this many days. I'm like, should we be inviting everyone to like a week prior party somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> like, Greece? Because no, I want to go to Greece. I think for a bridal party, we should get someone like Virgin Cruises or something like that to give us Ooh. a free cruise for the whole bridal party and us. Yeah. <laughs> I can be a virgin for that cruise. Because <laughs> imagine like we all go on a cruise to Miami or something. Like from Miami to the Bahamas. That'd be something. incredible. And like the thing about Virgin Cruises is they're just so great. So... I, Sponsor us, Queen. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen the work as it plays out, and it's marvelous. Yeah, <laughs> we've never been on a cruise. Oh, you like I a, am I, absolutely I, shit terrified to go on a cruise. Which I don't get. Like, if you're gonna no, literally, die, no, literally, like it's so weird. I'm so like fearless generally, but I am shit scared to go on a cruise, and I don't even know. Like to this point, if you got me, like. Jumping like the second you're step, you're about to step on the boat, I feel like I would I would take off. And I would still <laughs> go in, huh? That's it's it's like that bad. <laughs> no, like what I what I'm saying is, if you're gonna die, I'm not scared of the boat. You're or gonna anything. die either in the boat or out of the boat, but you're still gonna die, huh? I'm like a really good swimmer. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm like a I'm really good swimmer. Same. Yeah. So <laughs> I feel like it's a rash irrational fear. Well, yeah. Well, because then again, like, I've seen Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> and that shit was very real. It happened. It wasn't in the Bahamas. It was in the Atlantic uh, Ocean. Yeah, it's the idea of going in freezing cold water with no escape. Yeah, so it's not the Bahamas. Kind of stresses me out. 
<laughs> Bahamas is not that, hon. But you've seen Poseidon, right? Where the wave comes and tosses the entirety of the boat over? I have to fact check that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not like real. I don't think that one was real. But it's Well, Titanic wasn't real either. Plausible. Titanic is based on a true story. Yeah. But there was no boat. People. It was a plane. Huh? It was a there plane. was a boat. No, it was actually a plane. No, you're not going to it. Like, I've seen the boat. <laughs> no, you seen the boat? I, That's interesting because now I, I can find it. Where did you see it, hon? I went down. Huh. And so, oh, <laughs> right, because that's not the right boat. Right. Huh? Like, they say it's the right boat, but then there's a conspiracy that it's not the right boat. Oh, yeah. But we, we'll save that for a later date. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add to the pod? No, like, the Titanic was real, but Jack and Rose weren't real. Well, apparently there was I have a feeling that. that Leonardo was really there. I'm He sad. sank that day, and ever since, it's been an alien playing Leonardo. I'm sa- I was sad when I first watched Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> See, that's like, I don't respond to what you say, because it's... No, that's a stream of consciousness. Sometimes I'm saying <laughs> things for the purpose of being an absolute stupid. Idiot. Um, I was sad the first time I watched Titanic because I had an image of Leonardo DiCaprio as a hot twink, and then I finished it, and I he I was no like, longer a hot twink to me. Maybe he wasn't my sexual thing. awakening. Like I do not have a single memory of watching Titanic and thinking he was hot. Like if you watch it right now, you'll be like. No. Leonardo DiCaprio. Like hot. Yeah. Yeah. I watched it like two years ago and I was like, oh, he's hot. Yeah. But when I was younger, it was not, it did not like spark the game. No. Were you a rose girl? I was 100% a (laughs) rose girl. I was like, don't motherfucking let go. (laughs) Uh, When she let go of him, I kind of like mentally buried her. I was pissed. I know. Pissed. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> like couldn't let it go, but um, but there was stakes. Yeah, there was stakes. There was stakes. You know where there fork, was no stakes. A tenador, <laughs> Gossip Girl reboot. Gossip Girl, the boot, the sequel, the back. Rusical, and that a boot. <gasps> and Gossip Girl, the Rusical would be a, probably a good thing. They should. Do more. It would be better than Gossip Girl, the reboot. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. <gasps> they Ma- should do ma- the massacre. <gasps> the Masical. The Masical Rusical Extravaganza. Holy shit. Listen, y'all. Mom, Mama Geddon. Mama Geddon. Apocalypse. <laughs> Mama, here we go again. If I had a How boat. How my fucking hair is caught in my neck. If I had a boat, I would call it Mama Geddon. Pardon the swearing. What? If I had a boat, I would call it Mama Geddon. Oh my god. Holy. That is life goals. And it has to be like um, Octavia Spencer is performing on the boat at the opening ceremony. Yes. <laughs> she's going around to people going, just trip boy. No, she's not saying, <laughs> she's not saying anything. She's just looking at the, <laughs> oh, I love her. Um, I need her to make a motto. Me too. Please, we'll put in the pledge. <gasps> what? A motto where she kills the gays. No. <laughs> <gasps> These gays, okay? they're trying to murder me. Macho, ma. macho, ma. Ma and Jennifer Coolidge in part two. Macho, macho, ma. Like macho, macho, man. Macho, macho, macho. Ma. That was a cartoon, right? It's a song. Macho, macho, macho. man. Oh, I thought it was like a cartoon. Cause... Honey, I don't know what porn you're looking at, but <laughs> it's not it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I remember a cartoon when I was younger and it was like a wrestling one and it was called Macho or something. I don't know. Again, I don't know what Some porn YTV. you're looking at. Some YTV. YTV. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, this has been rude enough. This has been rude enough. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the Shawn Mendes thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, we didn't even talk about the bus got season. Uh, or unseasoned. I only thought, thought about it because you know how people are putting the labels on it. Yeah. <laughs> you were, yeah. Um. Yeah. I was sad when he buzz cut his hair. It's not. But buzz I feel cut like uh, I was like, guess we don't look alike anymore, Sean. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> that's that's the that's the Taylor Swift girl on TikTok when Taylor <laughs> when Taylor dyes her hair. 
<laughs> That's you. You're like it's just Ashley, but for shop business. It's just Ashley. That's her name. Oh. <laughs> no, but I don't go on TikTok going. You sure. doubt her? I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. You're sure. <laughs> I, I like get filler, so I look like him. And then he cuts his hair. I'm like, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> we can shave your head. Why do you, do you hate the hair? No. Then why do you want Why do you want to shave it? What's I just think it? it needs a trim. I think I'm it kidding. No, beautiful. it looks beautiful. Do you see the hate? <laughs> the hate. If you can't see the hate. Don't go in the kitchen, huh? I do like the look where you have it like short on the sides, and then I would keep it long on the top. I'm considering doing that. I think. But I'm dedicated to it's grow it out to like here. Like another like month. Just so I can get some, like, picks with it long for the album, in case that's the vibe I want. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see. You really want me to cut it? No! Right now? Okay, we'll cut it no, today. No, it looks we cute! We can cut it today. It looks no, cute. No, how, how do you want, how do you envision it to be on the album? Because I thought it was going to be, like, a flowy moment. Because it's so curly, and I love it. Then grow it out, hon. Let me know. How should my hair be for the album cover? The light. This is my Jamie Lee Curtis hair. That's your Jamie Lee Curtis mug. Because you look like her. That's my brother. Oh my god. Jamie Lee. Did you see the silhouette thing? No. Okay, so there's this thing that says that like if it's a, if someone's a great character, and I guess it bridges over to celebrities, if, some, if a character is great... You'll know the silhouette. You'll know them from the silhouette. Oh, I, I can already picture the silhouette. Oh, she's such a queen. Say, my, you will recognize a silhouette, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that laugh I just did, that. I don't even know I did it, but that's, that's like, exactly how an ex-friend of mine laughed. Not in a shady way, but, like, we don't talk anymore. But they went, like, <laughs> I see what you don't talk anymore. In the middle of class, okay. they would laugh like that, and everyone would be, like, <laughs> oh, my God, that's cute. Yeah, it was cute. It made me laugh. <laughs> uh, and on that note, do we have any more Mogpocalypses to talk about? No, I think that's all for today. Yeah. We'll see y'all next week. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Shout out to our so rude besties. We love you. Shout out to the sad clowns. Are you okay, Mo? Rainbow clown besties. And our Sebastian collector. collector. We love you. We'll see you in the next one. Have a bad, bad, bad habit. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.